the second week of September and the autumn routine is fully upon us. After a long summer, kids are back at school and adults have returned to work. Well, most adults have returned to work. Others are looking for work and some are contemplating switching jobs or even careers. Here to discuss the UAE job market is the founder and CEO of Dubai-based recruitment firm Cooper Fitch, Trevor Murphy. Thanks so much for joining us tonight, Trevor. Now, tell us about the current state of the UAE job market. Are companies hiring right now? I guess after a slower than expected uh, 2018, I think uh, so far this year we've seen uh, quite a positive return to uh, new opportunities, uh, new jobs coming to market. Uh, overall, we've probably seen about four or five percent increase on activities from activity levels from last year. Um, so uh, quite a positive uh, review for the first six months of the year. Um, so, so far, so good. That is a healthy ride, isn't it? Now, what sectors or more specifically, which industries are seeing the most hiring demand right now? Sure. I, I think we've probably seen quite a rebound in Abu Dhabi in terms of uh, investment in, in public sector and, and semi-government uh, owned entities, large infrastructure projects. So overall, that's been uh, probably the notable increase in, across the United Arab Emirates this year. Um, in terms of a sector, so uh, I guess the public sector um, are, are busy uh, recruiting at the moment. Um, we've seen a good increase in organizations that require digital expertise, um, new technologies such as artificial intelligence, etc., very much at the fore of the digital revolution within the United Arab Emirates. Um, but also sectors uh, including uh, FMCG and manufacturing as a whole, we're certainly seeing very nice positive returns to uh, recruitment activity. So are these the sectors where recruitment and employment of the future is going to lie? I mean, what should students in university be studying right now? Um, look, I think uh, globally, uh, fintech, digital, AI are all very important factors. Um, and students uh, that have an interest in those areas should develop uh, or look to uh, do a primary or master's degree in those qualifications or those areas. I would always suggest that uh, you follow the, uh, the aspects that interest you in terms of what you do in university. Things tend to work out when you come into the workplace. So I would s strongly suggest that people follow what they're interested in rather than looking to follow a particular space because it may in the future be busy because medium to long term um, it's, it's uh, difficult to understand exactly where jobs would be in 5, 10, 15 years time. Good piece of advice there Trevor. Now tell us a bit about salaries. We keep hearing about raises in the pipeline. What do you forecast for the near term? Unfortunately, uh, across the UE, um, uh, supply of quality uh, staff is above demand still slightly. Um, we see quite a stable or a zero increase in, in actual salaries, whilst activity for jobs has increased by four or five percent. Um, I think next year, um, this year we're building for a year of transformation and changing and looking for better efficiencies. And I think. Uh, the population across the UE will see the return uh, from those activities now um, into next year. Uh, but I think this year we see probably uh, very, nim very nominal increases or in some cases some further reductions, unfortunately. Well, are we seeing a drive in people leaving their position of employment to start their own businesses? So uh, licenses, the number of new licenses applied for across the UE is up. Um, we typically see in a market where confidence is a little bit lower um, that people are less willing to uh, leave uh, a permanent secure job and start something up themselves. So this is what you did, isn't it, Trevor? So you left your permanent secure job to go into business for yourself. What are your tips for making the move from employee to employer? Uh, make sure you understand some of the constraints uh, that you have uh, moving from employee uh, to employer. Um, um, I guess uh, being fully committed behind it. I've been, uh, Cooper Fitch is now four years old uh, at the end of this year. Um, and whilst we've seen very nice growth, I think a lot of that was just bringing good people with me uh, on that journey. Um, and making sure that the commitments I made to them were, were, were lived up to. Um, and make sure you love what you're, what you're 
doing and what you're going to do for yourself because it only becomes slightly harder when you do it for yourself. Absolutely. Very useful tips there. Thanks so much for joining us, founder and CEO of Dubai-based recruitment firm Cooper Fitch, Mr. Trevor Murphy. Thank you.